Hey guys, Dre Avon back for part two, Chargers rookie safety Rayshon Jenkins. In part one, we talked about the things he's working on, coming to the Chargers, just different things that he hopes to accomplish this season as a rookie. And we're going to get into the three-minute play with DA a little bit later. But first, Rayshon, I want to talk about Gus Bradley. I know as mm -hmm. a defensive person, and I've talked to a lot of players that have worked in his scheme, and they speak very highly of him. Right. A lot of people are excited to see how this scheme works with the Chargers. What's your impression of it so far? I mean, I love it. I think yeah. Coach uh, Gus, he's very intelligent. You know, he knows what he's talking about. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, his, his defense is, you know, um, it, it's it's like everyone get a chance to make a play. Mm -hmm. So um, I really love it, and I can't wait to, you know, um, be more involved. So. Yeah. Yeah, and people are excited to see you. Well, it's time for the three-minute play with DA. Rapid-fire questions. This is the kind of stuff I can't do on the sidelines. Showing you more about your favorite players off the court, off the field, outside the ring, whatever it is that they do. You guys know how this goes. So, Rayshawn, you ready? So, it's rapid-fire questions. Just right. tell me the first thing that comes to mind. Okay, so you have 17 brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. What's the craziest memory that you've had growing up with so many brothers and sisters? I only have one brother, and we have a lot of crazy stories. you got 17 brothers uh -huh. and sisters. Give me something. What's the craziest thing about that? Um, I mean, I don't think it's really crazy. I, I feel like <laughs> it is to uh, me because it's a lot of people, but yeah, yeah you're used to it. it. I mean, it's fun. I can just uh, remember me and my siblings just running through the house having fun, you mm -hmm. know, uh, imitating like different movies and stuff. Yeah, so I actually hurt my sister one time. <laughs> I, I was trying to do the little dance, the break move dance on her. Um, uh -huh. On white chicks from white chicks uh -huh. and they pull the hands through the uh legs <laughs> yeah and flip them over. oh my god <laughs> I, I did it and my like it didn't flip off she didn't flip all the way and therefore it hit the ground wow was she really hurt oh uh, no not really just a little bruising yeah just okay. a little bruise little like, bruise little laugh little brother sister moment yeah so just little <laughs> things like that we used to do christmas must have been crazy like holidays with that many people is this crazy oh uh, yeah so we usually you know go to my grandma's house we we eat you know, mm -hmm. open presents or whatever. So, um, you know, but everyone has something on uh, Christmas Day. And um, it's just love going around. Yeah, that's amazing. I think it's so cool to have that many friends for life. Like, those right. people are embedded in your life forever. All right, best fan moment. It could have been in Miami mm -hmm. or with the Chargers. What's the most touching thing that a fan either said to you on social media or in person that really touched you that would stand out probably for the rest of your career? I mean, I mean, I have a lot of moments like that, you know. Just, okay. Um, yeah, so at Miami, you know, we had a really, you know, fantastic fan base. Yeah, uh, you know, they used to hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, they used to just you know show a lot of love, support, and mm -hmm. uh, you know send me things through the mail. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it, I mean, it was just overall just a lot of love in different ways from just a lot of different fans for you. All right. So and also, um, you know, even since I've been dropped here, San Diego, you know, I oh, will LA. Yeah. <laughs> but um, LA Chargers. All right, so, um, you know, just the fans here, they, they showed me, you know, a lot of love uh, since I've been here, so, you know, I appreciate it. That's amazing. Well, you mentioned Miami football. Miami mm -hmm. football is huge. What's the best thing about being a part of that program? I mean, there's so many legends that mm -hmm. have come out of that program. For you, having come out now, what's the best thing about coming out of there? Uh, the you. Because, <laughs> you know, you, you, you build relationships with, you know, your brothers, you know, mm -hmm. um, and you know you'll have those for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, everyone throughout you know my college career, well my uh, homeboys at least we still talk to this mm -hmm. day. So we, you know. Wow. So it's just a brotherhood for life. Yeah. No, I talk to a lot of USC players that say the same thing. It's just right. like a culture for the rest yeah, of your life. Exactly. All right. Favorite entertainer? It could be a rapper. It could be an actor. Who's that person? Like man, I really rock with that person. Favorite entertainer. Favorite entertainer. Uh, it's a tough one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably say uh, Mark Wahlberg. Oh, for real? Yeah. Wow, I wasn't expecting you to say that. What is, what is it about Mark Wahlberg that makes him, like, that's your one? I mean, he, he's just a good actor, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. He's very diverse. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he, he knows how to play those different roles and play them really well. So, and I, and I like, you know, just... Diversity. Like, yeah. Did you see The Gambler? That's all the uh, okay, I just saw that last night. I didn't even know you were going to say that, but I was prepared. That's called, like, unknown research. Right. I watched it, and I thought he did a good job in that, so it was really yeah, good. and, like, four brothers and stuff, so. Okay. Yeah. Really good stuff. All right, favorite pregame meal. What's that thing that you eat that gives you that energy to get out there and, like, be that enforcer that you are in the I mean, I, I try to eat uh, pasta or potatoes. Mm. Um, Carbs. 
Yeah, yeah just exactly carbs. Um, you know, just try to stack up on energy. I don't have to have a specific like food that I eat, mm -hmm. but you know, um, you know, pasta or maybe potato. Okay. Do you have? I stream a lot of shows. I'm a nerd. I go to like Coffee Bean, Starbucks, stream shows. Best show that you either watch on TV or stream that you just cannot miss. Like when that comes on, oh. it's like I can't. I don't want to take a call. I don't want to talk. What's that show? I would definitely say Power. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> G up in here, I love it. Okay, power. So power is just your clear number one. Yeah, power is just number one. Power is just number one. All right, favorite athlete in another sport. We got to go outside of football. We look at the other mm -hmm. guys. We got baseball, golf, basketball. Who's man? I love that player. Not a football player. I would definitely say uh, uh, Russell Westbrook. Okay, and yeah. what is it about? What is it about Russ West? He, that... He's just a dog, you know. Yep. Um, I, I always look at him as a football player. You know, uh, on a basketball court, he's just a he's just aggressive out there, and he just wow. like if I play basketball, that's how it would be. Okay, so yeah. you look at him like that 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 that, just that, that that dog just exactly. mentality. So he's that's the first time I've heard that. I really like that. He's yeah. basically plays football, basketball the way you think he would play football, and the way right. you would like to play. Exactly. I love that. I love that. And I know Cam Chancellor is also someone that you yeah. love the way that he plays. Yeah. What is it specifically about his game? Uh, just you know the energy he brings, you know the leadership. And the physicality that he brings to the game, so uh, you know I feel like that's that's big at the safety spot. You know, you you, you have to let the other team know you have a presence. Right. So. So they're just fearing. All right, last one. Favorite villain in a movie? Mine's Ju mine's Bishop <laughs> Juice Tupac, because yeah. I just love me some Tupac. So that was my favorite villain in any movie. Who's your favorite villain? Who was like, man, he that person was hard. They were scary. Uh, they they really brought it in their performance. I would say probably Tupac and, and Juice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, see, we we see we we hear. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. And what was it about his performance for you that you were like, damn, he just he crazy. Because That's scary. I mean, because it's real life stuff. You know, it, it yeah. was it was really like you know telling the story like uh, some people mm -hmm. you know that live that that type of life, and I feel like he played the role very well. Yeah. And, um, Me too. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's when I really started crushing on him. I was like, Ooh, okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, well, Rayshon, do you want to shout out any of your sponsors or just any anybody, your agency, anybody you want to shout out? We can do that here. No restrictions. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> we got the power. Uh, shout out Adidas Three Strike Life. Uh, there you go. You know, shout out Ethica. Okay. Underwear brand. And shout out my uh, agent. Nice. Uh, Peter Schaefer. Peter Schaefer. What is up, Peter? Mr. <laughs> Peter Schaefer. Well, Rayshon, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. That's exactly why I do these interviews. We peel back the layers, show you more about your favorite players, the kind of stuff that you can't always see and find out about them. So thank you so much, Rayshon. What's good, what's good? You look out for this guy this season. He's gonna continue to do big things and he's gonna continue to be an enforcer on the field. So make sure you keep the lookout for part one. This is part two. Thank you so much for watching. DA Rayshon.